insomnia. I don't know what it was. I wasn't feeling too good and just tried, tried, but still couldn't quite get your Before air tank. Yeah, uh, I already took care of the fuel. We got the fuel on that this time. I didn't. I had no idea that that didn't get fuel this time. But anyway. Yeah, 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 get in get into that routine of completing one rig at a time that way we don't miss any fix. Water still have ice in it, so we're okay. Alright. become so popular. Alright, well, this first time we're going to all be on our own somewhat. Bill, God love you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, 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 have you met Melissa yet? Where's Bill? <laughs> oh shit. Um, LJ, right. RJ. Mike RJ, and Brandon. You got Garth's with Bill and Melissa. Uh, he will explain to you what's going on over there. Um, they're in the process of uh, selling out. Uh, the front tip, where it goes to 23, we're not going to mow that anymore. It's changed hands. They're going to build a gas station down there, eventually. So, um, hopefully we're going to mow it until they break ground, but we're not going to mow it today, because we haven't heard back from Garth yet. They cut the cord, I guess, officially, so they don't want us... They don't pass to mow it, which I can understand. So Mike knows the borders. He'll discuss that with you guys when you get down there. But you, the four of you go to Gars, and then Mike, you go to Dick.
just finished up some of our athletic fields. Uh, we're going to get ready to go meet up with the rest of the crews, try to finish off a couple of our campuses today. It's Monday, and uh, weather's been pretty good so far. Looks like we're going to maybe get some rain later this week, so we're just trying to make the most of today and get all our work done so we don't get too far behind. Well, today is a little bit better than yesterday. Hopefully the sun's already out. Uh, we didn't have a good day here at the company. We had quite a few issues with our machinery. We have two 2009 725 DT6 grasshoppers and both of them ended up discovered yesterday by our pre-flighters. We were missing some engine mount bolts. Uh, on the older of the two, we, their one's got about 800 hours. We discovered four of the eight engine mount bolts were missing, all on the left side. Two were gone and two were broken off in the engine. Uh, and then through the rest of the pre-flighting procedure, we discovered that our newer 2009, which has about 500 hours on it, was missing three of the eight, but thankfully they weren't broken, they were just gone. Uh, but two of the other bolts were loose, so five of the eight were either gone or loose on this unit in particular. So. Uh, we were able to fix this one up yesterday with just replacing three bolts, but we ended up having to take the other 2009 Grasshopper out to Buckeye Tractor, and thanks to Grasshopper for standing behind their work, and thank you for the guys at Buckeye, we are going to get two brand new engine mounts for each of the machines along with the necessary hardware and labor, and it's all going to be taken care of by Grasshopper. Uh, they always stand behind their work, they always have. Uh, since 78 we've been using these machines and there's a reason why um, and because of that we're down a machine but Buckeye is going to loan us a grasshopper while they're working on our two grasshoppers um, but as you can see here you can see the bolts you can kind of zoom in here and you'll be able to see two of them that have been tightened and replaced and like I say there's four on each side so eight total hold the engine to the engine mount itself but we're going to be getting all new engine mounts on both of the 725s. Grasshopper has realized and recognized that they're having some issues with these. So they're going to replace them free of charge. And we should hopefully not lose any more time. So in the midst of that, we had two go down, but we were able to get one fixed. So then we go to meet up with one of our crews to kind of join in with them. And we get a call and we discover that our 721 is down. But thankfully, it was a minor issue. The pillow block bearing, there's two on the P on the PTO drive shaft. The front pillow block here had lost its bolts. So thankfully that was a relatively easy fix. We were able to come back to the shop, put a couple new bolts in it, and we got that machine back up and running, you know, within an hour. So even though yesterday started out pretty bad, it finished off pretty good. And today, like I say, is looking a lot better with the sun. We've got four machines ready to go, and we should get that fifth loaner from Buckeye Tractor later today. So we should be back up to full speed, and we'll get our machines fixed. And uh, again, I thank Grasshopper for standing behind their work, and I thank Buckeye for uh, doing the work for us. Well, it's another lovely rainy day here in Delaware, so uh, I've decided to come down to our local shooting range. I'm going to meet up with a couple friends of mine, and we're going to shoot some rounds through our guns and kind of pass the time since it's raining, so it's not uh, you know, a total loss of the day. Guys, got the guys back at the shop. They're working on the equipment. I'll be heading back there in about an hour or so to check on them, but for right now, we're going to go have a little bit of fun.